Hey guys, it's Walt K4OGO. Um, I'm in the Norfolk, Virginia airport. I'm getting ready to leave for Poland. Going to be over there for six weeks on another uh, work assignment. I go back and forth there quite often. And, um, you know, I've gotten a lot of questions lately about um, traveling with my um, radios and gear. Uh, so I figured I'd just uh, make a quick video uh, before I get on the plane here and kind of show you what I what I brought with me and uh, kind of tell you about... Um, what I packed in, uh, and, and checked on in my check-in luggage as well. So here you go, let's a uh, quick rundown. Uh, I'll show you my carry-on bag and what's coming on the plane with me. Stick around. Okay, here's my bag, my carry-on bag. This may be a little shaky, I'm doing this with one hand. Um, inside the bag, here's what I'm gonna have with me this time. Got a couple other small bags that I, I have transceivers in. They're a little nifty little, uh, kind of tactical military type bags that I put my transceivers in. Um, one important thing that I have with me um, is a copy and it's not in there. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, I've got it somewhere. Um, it is, oh, there you go. This is the most important part about going to Europe. It is the DA-161080, uh, sorry, DA-161048 form, the public notice. This is uh, have, this is for the CEP, CEPT uh, operating in a, you notice, I think if you read this about this, it's in French, German, and English, but that's important. I also have a uh, copy of my uh, license with me as well. Um, some, some other neat stuff in here. Uh, I got my uh, iPad that I'll log with while I'm there. Also have a pretty cool little paper log that I use there handheld anyway. That's some of the go-to, go go-along with stuff. Uh, this keyboard, it's going to be interesting this time because I'm really trying to learn um, CW. So it packed away in my bags. have a couple paddles that I'm going to use, and I'm going to try to do some CW. But um, one radio that I have here in this bag, if you, this will be the first time I've used this too. It's pretty cool. It's the uh, Prepcom DMX40. So... Got the, the Prepcom DMX40. I'm gonna try to uh, hopefully not use the keyboard with it too much. I know it'll work uh, a little QRP on 40 meters. I also have um, all the wires and everything where I can wire that into my um, Zygu G90 as well. So I'm gonna try to do that. Speaking of the Zygu G90, this, uh, this is what I love about this radio, how easy this is to pack. So inside this bag here, I'll just open this up. Pretty cool little bag. Inside it, there it is. As I've, I've kind of mentioned this before, I take these front flaps off of it. it makes it nice and small and easy to travel with. Um, also, another little compartment for the mic there. And the mic's in it right there. So that's what I have from for uh, the carry-on. Like I said, all this will go be carried on with me. I just went through TSA, no questions, no problems. A lot of times, uh, people ask me about batteries. Also, um, I um, I uh, sometimes carry a six uh, amp hour LiPo four battery. This time, what I did is I packed inside of my um, in my uh, uh, check in. Geez, my uh, suitcase there. I've got a couple uh, power supplies, small power supplies. Uh, that, uh, that I'll take over because I'm mostly going to be working in the house. I also have a, uh, a cigarette lighter, a 12 volt cigarette lighter uh, hookup where if I want to go out and work portable inside of uh, my car that I'll rent, I can do that as well. But um, that's, um, that's, that's the uh, carry on. I'll go back, I'll talk to you for a second about what I packed inside of uh, in my um, checked luggage. So in my checked luggage, I've got a lot. Uh, I've got a four to one. I've got a nine to one. I've got uh, brought the spark plug uh, 49 to one with me. So gives me um, three different ununs to work with. I also have uh, some banana clips uh, that I can make wire antennas out of. And I have a um, with that as well. I have a one to one a choke a choke ballon that I could choke with if I wanted to build something with that. I also uh, packed in there a um, a uh, 100 foot of speaker wire, 16 gauge speaker wire that I'm taking with me. I know I could probably buy wire over there, but bringing that with me as well. Um, 
a baggie full of adapters and, and, and hooks and what have you. Um, I brought a uh, hundred feet, maybe even, I think it's 150 feet of a monofilament fishing line um, that, I, that I put in there in my check on also, because I have a couple, I have three different antennas from my friend Tim N9SAB. I have a, uh, a couple of them I'm going to string up high, and they're lightweight. So what I'll do, I've done it before, is I'll run the fishing line from up on top of the house on the top of the second floor window down out to uh, the fence out in the back. And on that fishing line, I will uh, string up. Um, I have a uh, multi-band dipole that he makes, which is basically an off-center fed dipole. I'm going to put that up. I think that's going to be the first antenna I put up. Um, also, I have a, uh, a a true G5 RV that he built, a lightweight one as well, that I'll put up there. On top of that, I have um, another one, a, an NFED uh, half wave that he built that I'm going to string up as well. And that NFED half wave, this time I think I'm going to do a little bit different. If you followed me in Poland before, I uh, I, I ran them out the back windows and. Um, and this time I'm going to put it up traditionally. I'm going to run the, the uh, coax out the window down to the ground and, and string it up with the uh, with the 49 to 1 down on the ground and then up. I have a couple poles over there that I left. I have two 7-meter uh, poles that I, I left at the house uh, that we stay out there in Poland. I'm going to keep them there. and I'm going to pull them out eventually and do that. With those two poles also, I've got a couple of ideas with the wire and uh, the clips and the ballon. I'm seriously thinking about doing some form of a... 10 meter yaggy or something of that nature uh got some ideas for that as well but um that's it i'm getting ready to take off uh it's a monday afternoon here i'm will land uh i go from uh, norfolk to uh, dulles in washington dc uh dulles to frankfurt germany and then frankfurt germany to gdansk poland and then i have about a two-hour drive from gdansk to swoops poland where i'm working at so um it's going to be about a 24-hour venture altogether to get there, but uh, that's the plan. Anyway, just wanted to drop this quick video because I've had quite a few people ask me about traveling uh, with equipment, and it's really super easy. I mean, I just went right through TSA. Not a problem at all. Like I said, the biggest problem is the battery. It cannot be over 100 watt hours. I'm not taking a battery this time. Like I said, I got a couple power supplies, so I'm going to do that. But anyway, hey, um, if you're uh, here in the next six weeks, it's going to be an adventure. I'll be doing a lot of different stuff in Poland. So if you're a subscriber to the channel, really look forward to, uh, to, to seeing you. I'm going to try to do a few live streams when I'm there as well. So uh, for my friends in Europe, maybe we can uh, make a QSO if we haven't already. Um, for my friends here in the States, uh, conditions are good. Let's hopefully can, uh, I can reach back and talk to some of my friends here in the United States as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I'm Walt. Sugar Papa, stroke Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, on my way to Poland. 73, my friends. See you soon.